The term hermatypic is often used in marine biology lectures and textbooks when discussing shallow water coral reefs, but isn't always thoroughly explained. In this video, I will discuss why this term is used and what it means. Hermatypic is used in scientific literature to help researchers distinguish between two main groups of corals. Hermatypic, meaning reef building, and a hermatypic, meaning non-reef building. A coral is considered hermatypic when it fulfills two preconditions. The coral must be constructional, and the coral must contribute to the framework of a tropical, shallow water reef. A coral is constructional when it produces a durable structure of calcium carbonate rock, also known as a bioherm. These structures contribute to the reef framework. Reef framework can be described as the three-dimensional reef structure produced by coral calcification. Many scleractinian corals are considered hermatypic because of their ability to create framework on shallow water reefs in the tropics. When researchers use the term a hermatypic, they are describing a coral that does not contribute to the framework of a tropical shallow water reef. Keep in mind, just because a coral is constructional doesn't mean it's hermatypic. Hermat Typic corals only occur on tropical, shallow water reefs. This means that deep sea constructional corals, for example, would be considered a hermatypic. In summary, hermatypic corals are constructional corals that create the framework of tropical, shallow water reefs.